I don't really know. Well, it's my um, my homeland. Uh, it's where I feel most at peace. Um, and because of the nature of the budget, we couldn't really afford to go anywhere else. My name is Fraser Camp, musician, adventurer, and part-time humble Scot. Journey with me as I uncover one of the natural beauties of the UK. So grab a drink, take a seat, relax, as I venture to Scotland. I'm travelling over 400 miles up north, venturing to the more woodland mountainous side of Glasgow and delving into the hidden treasures that it has to offer. I'm staying at Arica House, right in the heart of Loch Lomond. With its stunning picturesque views and joyous exterior, I'm keen to venture inwards to satisfy my curiosity. The kitchen exudes a warm, homely vibe and offers what I believe to be a robust Glaswegian money safe, which I will be using throughout the duration of my stay. The main hallway shows off an angelic spiralling staircase and features some stunning oak woodwork throughout, providing a strong connection to the outside surroundings. As I venture further, I'm amazed by the sheer presence and character of each room, cultivating me into a Glaswegian frenzy. I then progress into the lounge at the end of the house, which contains a beautiful stone fireplace, complete with historic ornaments, winter decorations and general wonder. Upstairs, the house features a plethora of bedrooms, each giving off a slightly different vibe while retaining a strong sense of northern heritage. But it's only as I unpack that I begin to uncover the particularly disturbing past that Arica House contains. Okay, this has kind of freaked me out a bit, but this is an actual rifle. An actual rifle. I don't know if the owners have just left it here by accident, or if it's like a tradition to leave weaponry around the house in Scotland, but it, it's really kind of scary. I mean, this is going outside the house. Now, I don't really know what this is. I think it's an emergency flare. Again, I don't know if that's a tradition in Scotland to keep one of these around the house. I don't think it's enough to judge just by what's in the house. Um, for me, you know, we've only scratched the cherry icing of the Bakewell tart that is Scotland. So I'm here for four days, so let's see what tomorrow brings. I absolutely love the house. I think it's rich in character. Um, it feels warm, cosy, uh, refurbished. It feels very fresh, welcoming. Um, I've got little in the way of gripes to say about it. I mean, I went for a sh** just a while ago. The toilets here are absolutely amazing. I mean, it was a beautiful silk marble. I mean, I'd compare those toilets with the ones in Japan, you know, just with a bit more tartan.
December and January are genuinely the coldest months in Scotland, with an average temperature of around 5 degrees Celsius. The Highlands accommodate roughly 100 days of falling snow in a year, and today is no exception. I'm overjoyed by its appearance on my visit, and although I look like a decommissioned train conductor from the 19th century, I can't wait to throw myself into this exotic scenery myself. <laughs>